Good afternoon and welcome to the VR Hang Glider Simulator development update for June 21st. This week we've been working on improving our modeling of bubble type thermals as well as adding visualization elements to the simulator to allow pilots to better understand the structure of the thermals in which they fly. So here you see a bubble type thermal that has just broken loose from the landing area at Ed Levin Park. And as it climbs, you can clearly see the structure of the primary vortex. And um, what we've done here is we've added a particle system that can be optionally viewed or, or disabled um, to help better locate and visualize those thermals. And here's our, our model of Ed Levin that we've created uh, to fly in. Looks like somebody hit the spot out there. Now from the air, um, these same kinds of thermals uh, become very, very dynamic. One can, you know, again, clearly see the vortex structure. And um, in this particular video, I haven't enabled the actual influence on the glider. So we're in a constant rate of descent. The thermal's rising at, I believe, about 200 feet per minute. And we're descending at about, about the same amount. So thermals like this will soon be automatically released from appropriate places in the terrain and at appropriate frequencies, depending on the uh, sun exposure, wind direction, uh, wind strength, all those types of things, and uh, will climb depending on the amount of heat in the thermal and the atmospheric profile that is established at the beginning of the simulation. So we're really trying to uh, make this as realistic and as accurate a portrayal without uh, sacrificing accessibility. My goal is really to make this simulator something that um, even people who are not hang glider pilots might be interested in trying out. Uh, I don't want it to be so complicated that, uh, that it isn't interesting to uh, non-pilots. And hopefully some of those pilot, those non-pilots will eventually decide that this is something that they would like to take on uh, as something in, to do in reality. Um, the hang glider performance is uh, pretty much right on. Um, I fly the same approach in my T2C, uh, flying at about top speed over that uh, fence, and the glide takes me just about to the spot. All right, until next time, thanks for watching.